what is up? It's your boy, Anecdotal. And as you know, the new dungeons have arrived with the update. We're going to see if it's challenging. Probably won't be anything groundbreaking. But we're going to go ahead and complete all of these dungeons and talk about dungeon farming for those of you who are new players. And for those of you that are veterans and endgame players, just, just enjoy the beatdown that's going to happen into this slime king so before there used to be an argument about two cores and four cores and if you're unfamiliar with two cores and four cores basically when you're doing a stage running team you need to have one physical and one magical damage dealer for your team just to go as far as you can if you're unsure watch my early game meta video that tells you the best units to use when you first start playing and I'll probably plug that up there in the top where there's an eye in the upper right corner. But basically, every time you look at it, you'll notice that there is a restriction for whatever day you could enter whatever dungeon. That has been done away with. That no longer matters, which is amazing. If you need a certain material, you could farm it that day. No matter what you get, no matter what artifact you happen to have trans 2, trans 3, or maybe just trans at all just once or got you can go ahead and farm the material at any given day which is perfect i think that that's great it was kind of a waste that there were specific days and only only every dungeon was open on weekends that was that was kind of weird uh because it's not it's not something that you need to save up for or anything like that uh but there is still one issue for all the dungeons that there are there's always one dungeon where a particular tribe is not allowed to participate in. So right now, since I'm using orcs, I could enter every single one except for one dungeon that doesn't allow orc teams. But at this point in the game, since it's all about the amount of metal spent, so your gold level doesn't matter. H having something trans 3, I don't believe, matters at all. The only thing that determines your power within dungeons is how many medals you have. And I think the most is like 7,500 medals. That's like all you need. And I'm at the point where everyone in my team has at least like 10k or 11k medals just because, you know? Uh, because once you hit level two, 200, all the stages there... If your units don't have at least, I think, 8,000 medals, they're not even allowed to show up. Like, if you play, you'll just run through that stage with nothing. So, in order for me to have my support units there, I needed to increase their medals, and that's why that's the way it is. In my team, I'm running a fairy. And because I'm running a fairy and it's an elf, that's my magical core that can beat the dungeon that my orcs can't enter. And it's magical. Now, I also have a Valkyrie on my team to give my team a buff. And it's a human, which is physical. So technically, I don't care about two cores or four cores because I have a physical and energy damage dealer for every single tribe. So this is amazing. I don't, I don't need to care about any of those things. All the dungeons are open and I get a lot more resources. Now, why are these open now? Probably because trans three artifacts have come out. And they might require a whole lot more material. But so far in my entirety of playing this game, I have never needed to really farm for dungeon material ever. Like all of it is just done. There's really not much to do there. It's, it's always been like easy content because it's just an easy farm. So for those of you that do have questions on how to farm or what to do, what you want to do is you want to create a one core. That means... Take away your either physical or magical core and then put all your units on whatever T3 unit you have and then that one will skyrocket your progress because every next stage that you have in a dungeon will double the amount of material you get. So if you're on stuck on stage 10, you do the one core and you can now beat stage 12, you're getting twice as much two times. So it's definitely something that you want to consider or with the crazy metal giving away that they're doing now with the update... You can just level up. Honestly, I've leveled up about 10 times in the last two days. It's been so easy to level up. And as always, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and anyone who plays Endless Frontier. And of course, if you want to see some more Endless Frontier content, make sure to subscribe. I'm your boy, Anecdotal, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.